guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna finally unbox my Erin Condren seasonal surprise box. You guys, this came about a week or two ago and I have not opened it up yet. And I wanted to open it off camera because I'm like, why not? Um, this is actually my second time getting an Erin Condren seasonal surprise box. I remember the first one I tried it. I didn't like it because of all the accessories that came in it that I really didn't need. But looking at this beautiful box, like you guys look at it, it's the mid-century circles. Um, theme. I love it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it because of the box and hopefully I can, you know, I can hopefully, you know, get lucky and having some amazing goodies. Now, the thing is, I've been avoiding so many channels and so many Instagram posts just that, you know, just spoil what's in this box. So just so you guys know, this is a Erin Condren unboxing for the seasonal surprise box. So no spoilers. If you guys haven't seen it or don't want to know what's in it, don't watch it. But if you do, let's get right into it. Now, I've only taken out the flap right here. I haven't opened it at all. So I'm going to do that right now on camera. And I'm going to see if like, my actress doesn't show up. But this is how it looks in the inside. And there is a quote. Somewhere over the rainbow is a beginning waiting for you. And that is super cute. Hopefully, let me see if I can get this to focus on it because it's so adorable. Like, do you guys see that? It's like holographic it's beautiful oh i cannot that's so beautiful so in here it says new growth new beginnings and i think this is like the pamphlet that tells you everything that's in the box now i'm not gonna open it because i don't want to tease myself with it because yeah no it's not <laughs> then here i'm gonna open it up oh the first thing i see is a journal oh it is a journal so so it says somewhere over the rainbow is a new beginning waiting for you so it's the same um quote that's on the box and it's also like hollow that's how it looks super cute it's gold um rings or like coil and it has it in the back and this is supposed to be a daily focused journal so i'm gonna go ahead and open it so it's just basically reflections of like what I want to focus on today, how I want to recharge, and how the week went. So it's kind of just like a daily planner. Like I said, items like this is why I don't like seasonal surprise boxes because you get stuff that kind of just, like for me, it doesn't matter because I plan on a weekly basis. I don't need a reflection notebook. Um, I have a goals notebook, if that makes any sense. But um, daily reflection, reflectioning or like journaling i don't do unless it's my bible journaling right here so i got my bible journaling stuff over here but yeah um it's cute if you like it me not so much so maybe i can give away all the stuff that i don't want and i'll leave the description box for you guys to know what i will be giving away if you guys want and then you can just follow the rules in case you want all of this stuff so this is the daily journal it's an a5 it has three months of intentional journaling weekly reflection so yeah this is it next item we have and you know what? I think this was the sneak peek that we saw on the Erin Condren Instagram page. They had shown like a display of like groceries and like this netted thing with their mid-century circles pattern. So it's actually like a grocery bag. So it says a mesh tote bag, uh, mid-century circles in the bottom. And I guess this is just like, you know, you put it on your arm. This is how it looks. So it's like a basically like a little grocery bag that you can haul to the grocery store or just in case like you're just very eco-friendly you want to haul these type of bags with you not sure if this would be my cup of tea but since it is for groceries or like just for produce in like itself um i wouldn't mind especially since i have a sprouts market over here it's like a, a mark what's it called a farmer's market situation i wouldn't mind just hauling some of the vegetables and, and like fruits that i get from there on this thing so pretty pretty nice so here is like one other grocery mesh bag so a little eco-friendly situation going on here so the first item we have from the accessories is like a fine tip marker situation they just came out with these um markers in different colors and variations on the Erin Condren website i think these were um, launched on the 27th of february i believe i'm not sure um but i didn't grab any because these didn't attract my attention since i don't like fine tip markers not not my thing i'm a gel pen girl i like my 0.3 gel pen or even up to a 0.5 and then that might be too thick so fine tip markers are not my thing but i did get them in magenta purple and green so only in case i wanted to try it out um i have that this one's interesting i wouldn't think that they would put this in a box but this is the sunglasses and mask chain now i know mask chains have been like a little trendy situation going on however i feel like everyone looks like a grandma with them 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. But they did include this one in here. I don't know if you guys can tell, you have the Erin Condren uh, asterisk. This is all white beaded until you get to the bottom. You do have the colorful situation from the mid-century circles right there. And then you just hook them on your mask or on your glasses. I have glasses and I wear my mask. But I'm not so sure about wearing this. I'm gonna try it out just to see how like old I look, but I guess it's fun, if, especially if it's trending. So at least you get some trend going on in this box. All right, next we have, I think these are stickers, hopefully, yeah. They're like splotches of color. I don't know if these are see-through or not. They do come in like this white kind of sticker backing paper. So it might give like some color to your planners and stuff. You can write on top of them. And then you also get like these um, banner splotches as well. So you guys can see they're very colorful. It's like watercolor, same as for these circles. They're actually really beautiful colors, very watercolory, pastel-y, but still bright enough and bold. Um, but yeah, this is more like when you bullet journal, I think in my opinion. And it's interesting to have them. I always like when people use watercolor in their um, bullet journals, especially when they're like clear stickers. Um, I know a lot of people use that in the Bible community. They love splotches of color just to add more hints into their dimensions of their Bible journaling. So I might try this actually in my Bible journaling pages to see how it'll work. But yeah, this is some of the stickers that they offer. Next we have, ooh, I got lucky. We have the vegan leather tabs. I don't know if you guys saw my haul from their launch. I actually bought these in gray and I thought this was such a good quality. So I was like, yes, give them to me. So now I have a second color in teal. And I think these were, I think this is an exclusive color to the box because the other one was rose gold or gray and I got the gray. And then this color, I don't think they offered it. So I, this might be like for the box only or a sneak peek of what's coming into the box. So yeah, the vegan adhesive um, tabs are here. And then now I can like kind of mix and match. My other tab is to put in my planner, so not bad. And then lastly but not least, they did include a notepad. So in this notepad, you got your to-dos, a uh, whole list thing making here, and then two boxes to um, write any notes. I love any type of notepads. I usually run out of my notepads pretty quick because I like to scratch on a lot of information, throw it away, and so on and so what. So um, I don't mind having a notepad. It's not bad. Um, it says just plan on it. It has like the purplish color of the mid-century circles right over here and it has 25 sheets and I'm pretty sure this is like a maybe an A5 B6 size um, kind of notepad so it's pretty it has a lot of space for you to write in here. And yeah, that is that is everything that came in the Erin Condren seasonal surprise box. Now what are my thoughts and opinions? Was I surprised by this box? No. Would I purchase the box again? No. Um, I tried it just because the box was so beautiful. However, everything in there, I wasn't like, oh my God, this is very exclusive. I can't wait. Like, you know, it had no like impact on me. Uh, most of these items probably I won't use. Um, except probably for the notepad and the color, uh, watercolor, like, swatches of stickers. Other than that, I would probably just give the whole box away. Um, but does it match the value of the box? I don't know because with Erin Condren, if you guys know, Erin Condren is kind of pretty expensive. However, their quality, their paper quality, and the duration of their items do last long. So in that sense, it is worth it. However, for you, if you're on a budget or you're thinking of signing up for the seasonal surprise box, I wouldn't sway you to get it. I think I would wait until like another launch that happens because usually what I feel like is when they have these seasonal surprise boxes there are exclusive items in the box however most of the items do end up in their website and like that you can pick and choose the individual items that you guys want and I just get a box of stuff that you might not necessarily use so yeah um it's up to you guys I'm pretty sure this box is already sold out so if you guys are like waiting for like the summer one I wouldn't lean too much on it, but it's always a preference. Let me know what you guys think about seasonal surprises. You like them. I know for sure I don't like any type of surprise subscriptions. I didn't like Ipsy. I didn't like Bird, Birch Box or whatever that thing is. I didn't like candy surprise boxes, believe it or not. I didn't like cloth and paper surprise boxes either, like those monthly subscriptions. It's just not my cup of tea. So it has nothing to do against Urn Conjuring, but I'm just not one of those subscription girls that just enjoys to be surprised. I like knowing what's in my box um, that works for me and all the items instead of forking out like, what is it, like $40 for items I will never use. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys took my honest opinion with a grain of salt and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.